this man bought me by herself, by himself, and said that if I leave the house anywhere that they get me, they will jail me. I was afraid. I don't know what else to do. And my madam locked me inside the house for four days. As she locked me inside the house, she's bringing different men to sleep with me. And one day she bought this old man. The old man paid her 800 Ghana cities. And my auntie said, okay, and my auntie bring her to where I am staying. The man was having um, red wine on his hand. The bottle. So he came in. I was crying. I tried to plead with this man as elderly person, but the man misunderstand me. And he said that if I didn't sleep with him, that he's going to injure me, that he's going to beat me mercilessly. And I said, I keep quiet. I started crying and said, God, is that how I'm going to end up my life? Please rescue me. And the man forced me to sleep with him. And I said no. And the man broke the bottle and hit it on my head. That is the mark here. That is the mark here on my head. And this one on my hand. So, so we can see the mark on her head. She's explaining the suffering that was caused by that evil spirit that forced her into a life of prostitution. The same evil spirit that made her to bed wet and also caused her bleeding. We can see the mark on her head where she was hit with a bottle during the time she was forced to do prostitution when she was taken to Ghana. So we can see all of this is the result of the evil spirit in her life that now she has been delivered from. So this is a life experience that we can learn from. So after everything, I collapsed. I don't know what happened again. Till around 12 in the night, I woke up, saw myself on the bed, bleeding, naked. I started crying. What after I cried finish, I prayed with my chaplet because I'm a Catholic. After praying with my chaplet, I slept off. And tell God, my life is in your hand, save me. And I slept off. That was how the bleeding started. So till the next day morning, my madam opened the door and she started begging me that I should please forgive her that this is the handwork of devil. I said, the handwork of devil that will lead you to betray me this way. You didn't tell me what you were doing in Ghana. And I said, okay, no problem. One of her friends came in, started convincing me. That was how I joined the gang. Three months later, they called me that my mom is sick. I came back to Nigeria. We tried everything that we could, but she didn't make it. She died. And after the burial, I went back to Ghana. As I went back to Ghana, I'm a kind of person that I love sports. And I saw some girls that were going to stadium. Anybody that is in Tamale here knows Tamale Stadium. And I went there with them. I was sitting down crying. They came to me and said, Casey, we know what you are passing through. Jo join us. You will make it. And I joined them. We started playing football. And their manager came out and asked me, who am I? And I explained myself. He said, okay, that I've watched you for a long time, that you can join us. We'll help you for everything. That was how they gave me accommodation. They trained me. And one day I was watching television. I was jo watching Joy Prime. Because then I have bring my son to Ghana to live with me. And then... Uh, I have prepared him to go to his church. He said that he's not going to church, that he don't feel like going to church today. After we finished watching the movie that we were watching in Joy Prime, he used his hand to change the channel, and he changed it to Emmanuel TV. I started watching Emmanuel TV with my son. That was how I saw someone giving testimony with her mother that she's bedwetting from her childhood. I say, if God healed this girl, that means God can heal me. When the bleeding was going on, I thought it was a normal bleeding. I never cared to go to hospital till two months. I said, ah, ah, what is all this? 
Although I have a doctor, my God is a doctor and he will heal me. That was all I put it to one Monday morning. There was a guy called Emeka. He's, he's the one that he's our second coach. So he called me, Casey. I heard that you want to go to Nigeria and you don't have any money with you. What do you want to do? I said, but Emeka, I don't know. All, all my hope is on you now. He said, okay, I'm going to give you money to go back and money to come back. That was how I came to Synagogue Church of All Nation. And as I arrived, on, on Sunday morning, I came in. The service was about to end, and man of God prophesied that there was a lady that is here. She's bedwetting, also bleeding. And I came out and said, I'm the one. So after everything, they put me, they arranged me in prayer line. After the prayer line, I went back home. I slept like a baby and I woke up the next morning. I could not see the bleeding. I could not see any bedwetting again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I am Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ, the miracle worker. So we want to understand very well. You said that since 12, you've been bedwetting every night. Is that right? Yes. So can you tell us, after the prayer and the prophecy you received from Prophet TB Joshua, what was your experience when you went home that night? I went back home with faith that my God is a doctor. As I've always said in the first time, I have a doctor and definitely he will heal me. And my God has healed me. Thank you, Jesus. And the bleeding, the both of them, I could not see them no more. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Let's put our hands together louder for the miracle working Jesus Christ. Can you tell us how are you feeling now in your body after suffering from that bed wetting and bleeding for so many years? Now you are free. How do you feel? I feel very light. I feel very. In fact, let me say, fantasizing. There is nothing in me again. I'm okay. I'm fine. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to thank God for your life and that evil spirit that pushed you to the former life of prostitution. What can you say now about that evil spirit that forced you to do those things? Well, it was a temptation because God has a way of it, doing his things. Maybe that was how God said that I'm going to get my healing. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is my savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. We know that when Jesus heals you, he heals you for the salvation of your soul. And we want to encourage you that now that you've been delivered from this spirit of bedwetting and bleeding, you've been delivered in Jesus' name, we want to encourage you that now life's second most important decision is to follow Jesus Christ leading daily. And you've been delivered by his word, and you now should be ruled by that word and make that word the standard for your life in Jesus' name. Amen. What advice do you have for young people watching you all over the world? Maybe they too, they're tricked to travel abroad. How would you advise them? Oh, this my advice go to the teenagers. When someone asks you that he will take you outside, ask properly because you don't know what she or he is going there. There are many of our girls, especially Nigerian girls outside there, there are some of them that they gave news last four weeks that they killed three girls, Nigerian girls, and take their kidney. That was what is causing to travelers. Please, Nigerian girls, be careful. Teenagers, be careful. Watch very well. Them also, my colleagues in Ghana, I know that some of you will be watching me this moment. You people should repent. Repent. God is your Savior. Come to Synagogue Church of All Nations. Definitely, you will get your deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. 
So we've heard it from our sister. She's advising all the youth all over the world that they should be careful of listening to people persuading them to travel overseas when they don't know what that is for. They should wait for God's time. And also those people that are into all these ungodly activities, that they too should seek for a living church so they can receive deliverance in Jesus' name. Amen. Esa mujer viene a testificar de cómo la palabra profética dada por el profeta Tibi Joshua ha liberado su vida. Ella dice que la semana pasada durante el servicio el profeta dijo que había una mujer que estaba sangrando y que se orinaba en la cama. Y ella salió al frente y fue en ese momento cuando recibió su liberación de este espíritu que la atormentaba desde que ella tenía 12 años. Además, ese espíritu inmundo también la llevó al mundo de la prostitución. Ella dice que fue engañada y se la llevaron para Ghana, donde la iniciaron en en la prostitución y durante tres meses ella estuvo llevando a cabo este trabajo forzada por el espíritu inmundo que estaba en ella dice que en un tiempo difícil cuando su madre murió ella pudo regresar a Nigeria pues la persona en Ghana no la dejaba regresar antes de ese incidente y dice que después conoció más personas que decidieron ayudarla y una vez cuando ella estaba viendo televisión con su hijo vieron el canal de Manuel TV y desde ese momento ella empezó a conectar con Emanuel TV y el hombre de Dios y dice que se sintió motivada por los milagros y los testimonios que veía en Emanuel TV y decidió venir a la iglesia de todas las naciones y Dios alcanzó su caso y para la gloria y la honra de Jesucristo desde la semana pasada el profeta oró por ella, fue liberada y dice que desde entonces el sangrado y el orinarse en la cama desapareció y ahora le da toda la gloria y la honra de Jesucristo por esta liberación en su vida y por la palabra profética en el nombre de Jesús. Nous entendons le merveilleux témoignage de cette jeune femme où l'homme de Dieu a donné une prophétie dimanche dernier en disant qu'il y avait une femme ici qui avait des saignements abondants et aussi le fait de perdre pipi au lit, d'avoir le problème d'énurésie. Et effectivement, elle a sorti confirmant la prophétie de l'homme de Dieu. Elle explique qu'effectivement, elle s'est mariée même avec ce problème depuis l'âge de 12 ans. Elle faisait pipi au lit, elle a aussi le problème de saignement. Elle s'est mariée comme cela et son mari ne pouvait plus justement supporter ce problème qu'il l'a quitté. C'est comme cela qu'elle a dit voyager dans un autre pays où elle a été forcée à la prostitution par force. Elle a justement reçu cette blessure au niveau de la tête d'un des de vieilles hommes voulait coucher avec elle en brisant une bouteille sur sa tête et aussi sur son bras. Elle a dit qu'elle avait vécu ses péripéties, elle avait vraiment entré dans un, dans un autre gang où elle a fait de mauvaises choses. Et par tout cela, par la grâce de Dieu, elle a pu pouvoir rencontrer Emmanuel Télévision par l'aide d'un de, de ses proches. Et lorsqu'elle avait Emmanuel Télévision, c'est comme ça qu'elle est venue ici à la synagogue de toutes les nations, qu'elle a reçu cette prophétie qu'elle est maintenant libre, elle est maintenant due de tout saignement, de tout problème d'énurésie, elle rend toute la gloire à Dieu. Madam, you're very welcome. Can you please tell us your name and where you're from? My name is Alice Liwa from Zambia Livingston. And what was the problem that brought you to the Synagogue Church of All Nations today? Uh, my problem was I had hypertension. And how was that problem affecting your life? It affected my life such that I am a farmer. Uh, for two years I was failing to do my work because of the severe pain I had. My knees and uh, my shoulder, even the nails, this side, I used to feel that if I want to try to do my work, I used to feel that I, I can't do anything. But today when the man of God was passing through, when he touched on me, I felt the cessation in my body and the heat. Then I felt something came out of me. I started crying and feeling that there's something has happened. I just felt Jesus has done something to my life. I said, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together. So, madam, you said because of the hypertension you've been having, you had a lot of pains all over your body, the nerves in your neck, your legs. 
and it really hindered you from doing your work. But when Prophet T.B. Joshua touched and prayed for you today, you felt a sensation and the presence of God working through your body. Yes, I felt the sensation in my body and I felt that Jesus is working out the answer for me. So right now, madam, what is the difference that you feel now uh, compared to before when you were having the hypertension? I feel I'm free because even I can, I can exercise, but before I can't do this. You can see even my hands. My hands, I'm able to do this. I can bend. And you mentioned that before, you have some pain in the nerves at the back of your neck. Are you feeling anything now? No, I can't feel it now. It's gone. I'm delivered. Thank you, Jesus. Emmanuel. Well, thank you, Jesus. Is a response from a happy heart. So let's join with uh, this lady here with that joy of what the Lord has done in her life. Acabamos de escuchar la increíble confirmación de sanidad de la vida de esta mujer que nos visita desde Zambia. Ya nos comenta que vino a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones con un problema de hipertensión. ¿no? Acabamos de ver cómo ella se podía ejercitar y cómo se puede mover para la gloria de Jesucristo, ya que ha recibido su sanidad luego del toque de profeta TV Joshua en el servicio de hoy. Ella está contenta y testifica, camina a la luz de su testimonio, ya que ella ha sido sana de todo dolor de cuerpo que sufría a causa de la hipertensión. Continuamos. your testimony. My name is Akashmea Opara. I'm from Imo State, but I live in Ghana. Actually, I was a banker. I st stopped my work. That was 2009. And uh, some of us that are here, Nigerians, will understand with me when somebody have worked in a bank and you're no more working, I suffer rejection, disappointment from all sorts. To the extent I couldn't pay my children's school fees, house rent was a very big problem. I had to go to Ghana. Right there in Ghana, this is my friend. I was squatting with him. He's our, he's, he's, he knows about this church very well. So he watches Emmanuel TV and he keeps it on 247. That day we slept. I had an encounter when Prophet TB Joshua appeared to me in the night and was teaching we were about 11. And when I woke up in the morning, I told him, say, young man, see what I saw? He said, boy, you must go to Nigeria. I had no father. I wasn't even walking. I was just in his house by grace. He, he, he feeds me. He, you know, he does everything for me. He gave me money. I said, go to Nigeria quick, 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 quick. I came here. I want to tell you a touch from senior prophet T.B. Joshua, it was a spontaneous move in me. It was like nine, nine inches block was removed off me. That night, I slept like a baby. The following day, my brother, I lost his contact for so many years, called me. I don't even know how he got my number. He called me, said, brother, prepare. I want you to travel. And that was that. Before two weeks, he sent money for uh, my passport have expired so many years ago. I should go and renew my passport. All these things was in a speed, speed lane. Now on Monday, I went for my interview. And this is what made me to, I said, no, I must share this testimony. Everybody within that, because my appointment was 8.30. Where did you have the appointment? Sorry, it was American Embassy. And my appointment was 8.30, so before 7 o'clock in the morning,
People were coming out from the council, and many were crying. They were giving them slavery reply, 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 reply. <laughs> and some of them were talking about some men, about two of them that were there. So when I got this information, I targeted those guys, and uh, I, I, within me I said, I will not go to closer to them. I will not try to do anything to go there. But do you know what happened? I never knew how it was. So when I came there, I was arranged to meet one of them. And I told the, the, one of the agents, they said, can I go and ease myself? Because I was afraid. I was fidgeting. Anxiety was all over me. I said, let me go and ease myself. He said, oh, no, you're not going anywhere. At this point, you are. Now, the next person is you. And I want you to know that you are being monitored. And anything I do, you are implicating me. So you're not going anywhere. Wait. You are going the next time. So before 30 seconds, that was my own turn. When I entered there, the young man stood up. I said, please, can you give me two minutes? I said, you get it. He left. Immediately he left, I said, I had a torch. And I want this torch to do something in my life today. I just want, let this man come here. Let's exchange pleasantries and let him say congratulations. And I want to tell you, immediately he came, we exchanged pleasantries because that was on a Monday. We are same person. I asked him, how was your weekend? He said to, the same thing to me. He asked me, are you married? I said, yes, I'm married. How many children do you have? I said, I have three kids. He said, congratulations. He gave me the visa. <laughs> this is my first time in my life to be in America Embassy. And he told me, after three working days, you go for the DHL, they will give you your visa. And this is what it is. I want to tell you there is nothing God cannot do. And can you share with us, for how long did you suffer that rejection after you lost your first job as a banker? For how many years were you in search of a job without any success? Calm down from 2009 to 2017. That must have been a long journey of sorrow, rejection and disappointment. So after that search, he said he went to the embassy and he was granted his visa. And what plans does the brother that is inviting you uh, have for you when you get to which country? That's Ohio, U.S. And I'll work with an institute. As a, uh, um, I'll work as a um, human resource personnel. Yeah, shall we put our hands together for Jesus? I said, just a touch from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through his anointed servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua, brought many years of sorrow to an instant end. And many of you that also received our touch today, you know what God has done. That that blessing, that miracle is here because our God is God of now. He heals now, He delivers now, He blesses now, He saves now. If you know that, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Yes, God has done something marvelous in your life. So, what advice do you have for listeners who are rejoicing with you with this wonderful testimony? My advice to the world is this. Your connection determines your collection. Where you are connected to determines what you collect from there. And the same thing I want to tell us is God can never be late. And he has never been late. Wait for him, he will meet you at the point of your need. So we have heard from our brother who said we should wait patiently for God's time. At God's own time, everything is beautiful. I we equally want to advise you that God has done this miracle in your life for the salvation of your soul. So make sure every step you take, make sure you carry God along. Include God in every decision you make. And we know that God will continue to direct yourself because his word will definitely set us on the good road to the good life. Once again, let us put our hands together for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Dans une pauvreté absolue, il a dit qu'il ne pouvait même pas se permettre de pouvoir se nourrir lui-même. Il n'avait pas d'argent, rien pour lui. Il a dit que quelqu'un lui a donné de l'argent pour pouvoir venir ici à la synagogue, église de toutes les nations. Et lorsqu'il est venu, il a reçu un toucher de l'homme de Dieu, comme aujourd'hui l'homme de Dieu a prié pour les membres de la congrégation. Il a dit qu'après avoir reçu ce toucher, il a dormi pendant la nuit, il a dormi très bien comme un bébé. Et le lendemain, il a reçu un appel téléphonique d'un frère, d'un de, de, de ses frères, dont il avait perdu le contact, le contact depuis des années. Il ne sait même pas comment son frère a pu avoir son numéro de téléphone, en lui disant de se préparer, qu'il allait bientôt voyager. C'est comme cela que son frère lui a envoyé de l'argent pour refaire son passeport qui était déjà périmé depuis plusieurs années. C'est comme cela qu'il a dû aller à l'ambassade américaine pour faire son visa. Et au moment d'avoir son interview, il a dit qu'il s'est rappelé qu'il avait reçu un toucher de l'homme de Dieu. Il a demandé à ce que Dieu, au travers de ce toucher,
dossier qu'il a reçu puisse pouvoir toucher le cœur de celui qui allait l'interviewer en ne lui posant pas de questions, mais en lui disant félicitations, voici ton visa. Effectivement, l'homme ne lui a posé que deux questions en disant est-ce qu'il était marié, est-ce qu'il avait des enfants Et il a répondu euh, dans l'affirmative. C'est comme cela que l'homme de Dieu lui a dit félicitations, mais c'est comme cela qu'il a eu son visa américain pour la première fois. Il a dit que c'est la première fois qu'il a un visa sur son passeport. C'est un passeport neuf. Il rend toute la gloire à Dieu ce que le Seigneur a fait à travers le toucher de l'homme de Dieu. Acabamos de escuchar este increíble testimonio de este hombre que nos confirma de que Dios es real. Él nos comenta que vino a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones ya que él no tenía trabajo, estaba desempleado. Él estaba en búsqueda de una solución al estancamiento financiero. Él nos comenta que recibió el toque de profeta Tibi Yoyo y desde entonces él empezó a ver el progreso en su vida. Su hermano que vive en Canadá lo llamó para poder adquirir la visa americana y ahora nos comenta que gracias a Dios va a conseguir un trabajo bueno, exitoso allá en América. Le da la gloria a Jesucristo camina en la luz de su testimonio. Continuamos.
on, put your hands together for Jesus. He's worthy of our praise. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and worship him. without Jesus. He's everything to us. He's been all those things and more. We can walk without him. We can talk without him. In him we live, in him we move and have our being. Lift your hands if you believe that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wave your hand, give thanks to God. Give thanks to Him. The Lord is good all the time. I can hear you. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. 
Give thanks to him. Give thanks to him. Hallelujah. There is a good news for you. There is healing virtue in the house. I can hear you. There is healing vessels in the house. There is deliverance vessels in the house. I mean, there is salvation vessels in the house. Right now, what you need to do is to put your faith, use your faith to put the demand. Now, since the vessel is in the house, the, the, the anointing is present. Healing, deliverance, blessing, all of God's blessing. It's in the house. It's present right right now. Amen. All you need is to use your faith to put a demand on the anointing. Hallelujah. That is good news. That is good news. It's in the house. I can feel it. I can feel it. The virtue, the healing virtue, the deliverance virtue, the blessing, the I mean, just name it. So you just ready, be ready to put your, use your faith to put a demand. Is that not good news? Yeah. Is that not good news? Yeah. I can hear you. Yeah. I can hear you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Wave your hand, wave your hand, wave your hand. Where are we going to start now? All you are uh, demand is in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Good news. It's a good news that healing virtue is in the house, deliverance virtue is in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can hear you. How can we say God is faithful if God has not promised anything? If God has not promised anything, how can we say He's faithful? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Are you ready? Right now, I will join you to remove whatever hindrance, whatever barrier between you and God. That is the first thing we need to do. Whatever barrier, you know, that could be barrier between you and God. Barrier could be sin, weaknesses, whatever it is, whatever is the barrier. I will join you in prayer. You open your lips now. We want to move that mountain. We're going to move the mountain right now. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. I will join you to move the mountain. Move, move that barrier. Open your lips in the name of Jesus. And begin to move the barrier between you and God. Begin to move that barrier right now. Move the barrier. Move the barrier. We was all over the world. I want to join you to move the barrier right now. There's deliverance vessel in the house. There's healing vessel in the house. There's blessing in the vessel in the house. All you need to do right now, view us all over the world, all over the world, whatever medium you are using to view us, all you need to do is to use your faith to put a demand on the anointing right now. Hallelujah. That is a good news for you right now, that there's virtue in the house. Right now, let us move the barrier between you and God. Whatever is the barrier, sin, weaknesses, I will join you right now to move the barrier. Begin to move the barrier. Move the barrier. We're going to move the mountain right now in the name of Jesus. Prayer. Hola. You are all over the world. Espectador, mueva toda barrera que haya entre usted y el Espíritu del Padre. In 
the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say, you barrier, be moved in the name of Jesus. Be moved in the name of Jesus. When Jesus says yes, who can say no? I say to you, barrier, Le digo a la barrera, move in the name of Jesus. Leave my people in the name of Jesus. Whatever the barrier, whatever it is, be moved in the name of Jesus. Be moved in the name of Jesus. Leave my people. Leave my people. Let's move up. Leave us all over the world. Whatever the barrier, whatever it is, weaknesses, sin, or whatever. Be moved in the name of Jesus. I say to barrier, move in the name of Jesus. Leave my people. Leave my people. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Right now, be free to receive blessing. Be free to receive deliverance. Be free to receive healing. I can see you free. I can see you free. Your blessing is just a way to you. Your healing is on the way to you. Your deliverance is on the way to you. Get ready to receive your blessing. Get ready to receive your freedom. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You can allow yourself to feel the presence of God. As I'm feeling it here. Yes. It's awesome. It's awesome. It is time now to receive your blessing. Because right now the barrier has been removed. The barrier has been moved. Yes. The barrier, I want you to feel it. You can feel it that you are free. You can feel it that yes. Your blessing is just the weight to you. Your deliverance is on the way to you. Right now, can you feel what I'm feeling? Can you feel what I'm feeling? Confess it with your mouth and at it right now. Begin to at, at it, at it, at it. Not only confess freedom is on the way, deliverance is on the way. Not only confess it, begin to at it right now. At it, at it, at it, at it. Ne confessez pas seulement que la délivrance est en chemin, que la solution est en chemin, mais agissez. Right now, begin to act it. Act it. Ahora mismo comience a confesar de que esa barrera ha sido removida para recibir su bendición. I can see my freedom coming. I can see my deliverance coming. In the name of Jesus, I can see them coming. I can see the deliverance coming. Yes, confess this. I can see deliverance coming. I can see the blessing coming. Yeah, it's on the way to me. Je peux voir ma délivrance uh, arriver. In the name of Jesus. Ma bénédiction arrivée dans ce Nom de Jésus. Right now, get ready to receive your deliverance. Soyez prêts à recevoir votre délivrance. Boom. Be ready to receive your deliverance. Be ready to receive your deliverance. Be ready. Begin to feel how it, it is to, re, to, to receive deliverance. Begin to feel it. I, can, I, can, I cannot wait to receive this deliverance. Deliverance means free spirit. Deliverance means free spirit. What deliverance means? Free spirit. You need free spirit to act with God. Deliverance means free spirit. Many be just believe, believe deliverance is deliverance from the from the no free spirit. You need to be free. 
You need free spirit to act with God. Yes. You need free spirit to engage in his project. God has his own project. He wants to give you. You, you. you need to engage in God's project. Hallelujah. Yes. Deliver me what? Free spirit. When you are when you have free spirit, you'll be able to pray and know. You will know God's will, God's promise before you even pray. You know, nowadays you don't know God's promise to you before you pray. That is why you say, my prayer is not answered. What you are asking is God's promise. Are you there? So when you have free spirit, you will know God's will for your life before pray. If what you are asking for is not the will of God to give you, and you are praying, you just pray for to the air. So we pray today without no God's will, without no God's promise. What you are asking for, God, give me biscuit. Do you know whether it is the will of God to give you? If it's not His will, no matter how much you pray, you are wasting your time. That is the free spirit. But when you have free spirit, you will know before action. This is what I mean by free spirit. Free spirit. When you have free spirit, it does not mean you will not have problem. But those problems will not mean to you. You will, be, you will leave them for God. You will not even think about your problem. People see you, ah, this man has problem, but he's not even think about it. He think about God. Because he know God's way first. So that is what we mean by deliverance. Mm. God can only dwell in free spirit. Free spirit is where faith lives. Free spirit where joy lives. Free spirit where God lives. We say faith is of man heart, man spirit. That we need free spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need to know what it means to be delivered. Hallelujah. 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 Right now, be ready. Let me talk to your hearts. I'm not talking to you. I want to talk to your heart. Release your heart right now. Release your spirit. I want to talk to your spirit. I want to talk to your spirit. That is, if I say release your spirit, I mean mean to talk to me. You should mean to talk to me. Not just talk to me. You mean it to talk to me. You mean it. My talking to you should see it very, very, very serious, very important. You should see whatever is I'm going to say now as 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 issue to set you free. See it as the only way. See it as the way from God. So that is what we mean by release your heart. Don't just see it as, ah, he's praying for me. No. See it, the voice of God. The final voice for God, from God, that can solve your problem. That is, you, are, you, are you ready? Yeah. You see, when you begin to see yourself doing the same thing, you say you are, you are, you are a liar. But you don't want to lie. But you keep lying. You keep praying. You keep lying. Mean is satanic covenants. It becomes satanic war. Covenant. I say I would not lie again, but it is a lie. It pains you. You keep, or spirit of anger, 
and the anger when, when you finish you you, you it, it feel you feel embarrassing but that does not stop you from next next time again you find yourself angry and this thing becoming an issue to you issue that bothering you so much i have the spirit of anger i want to leave the spirit i want to leave the spirit but it keep repeating knowing is satanic covenant every satanic covenant in, you, in your life satanic covenant of attitude satanic covenant of character Tout alliance satanic de caractère. Right now, open your list and begin to name them name Whatever. them name them every satanic covenant Todo pacto satanico. Ahora mismo empieza a nombrar cada pacto satánico de actitud, de carácter en el nombre de Jesús. Tout alliance. Every satanic covenant. Tout alliance satanic. Satanic covenant of attitude, of character. Begin open your lips right now. Begin to release your. Hey, leave, leave. Tout alliance satanique de caractère, tout alliance satanique d'attitude, commencez à vous libérer vous-même, ouvrez vos lèvres et libérez-vous, demandez-leur de partir dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Priez. Ahora mismo empieza a echar fuera todo pacto satánico, tanto de actitud como de carácter. Échelo fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Ore. In the name of Jesus, if you mean to call the name Jesus, you can flush it once and for all. To flush thing out, you know, just poison, you take poison and you vomit it immediately. You flush it, you, you find yourself flushing it out. If you mean that name Jesus, not just call the name Jesus, you mean it. That name can flush it just now. It's an authority. It's an authority. Right now, minute, that name Jesus. It's not your noise that will flush it. The name Jesus can't. That is the main thing. That is an issue in all what you are saying. You mean it. When you call that name Jesus, mean it. It will flush it. Just once and for us. Just once and for all. Hallelujah. Amen. Every satanic covenant. Covenant of attitude. Alliance of satanic attitude. Character. The character. Right now, open your lips and begin to command them out of your life. Lève, command them out of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Todo pacto satanico de actitud y de carácter. Empieza a echarlo fuera en el nombre poderoso de Jesús Cristo. Ore. Continuez de prier, demandez à toute alliance satanique d'attitude, toute alliance satanique dans votre vie, d'être chassé dans le puissant nom de Jésus-Christ. Ouvrez vos lèvres et priez, quittez votre système, quittez votre corps, quittez votre vie dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Spectateur, continuez orando junto con el profeta Tibi Joshua y empiece a echar fuera y reprender todo pacto satanico de actitud y de carácter en el nombre de Jésus et que lo fuera de su vida ahora mismo. Ore. Viewers all over the world, listen, listen. Every satanic covenant, covenant of character, covenant of attitude. Satanic, two alliance satanic, the character and attitude. The name Jesus, meaning. It is not the noise or noise you are making that matter. That what matter? Name Jesus. Mean it. Ce qui importe, you can just flush them out. Le nom de Jésus. Covenant of character, covenant of attitude. In the vie. name of Jesus. Alliance de caractère et d'attitude. In the name of Jesus. Le nom de Jésus. I flush them out. Et le limpio là mismo. All character. Tout character. 
character, attitude, actitude. In the name of Jesus Christ. En el nombre de Jesucristo. I can hear amen. Attitude, I chase in the name of Jesus Christ. Minutes. Minutes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to think about your life. If your life belongs to Jesus genuinely today, what a sweet and awesome life. Think about your life. Just begin to think about your life. The question you need to ask yourself, viewer, do you know Ness? Do you know Ness? That is Jesus. When you have Jesus today, you will begin to know Ness. What Ness to do? What will happen next? All this will not happen to you unprepared. Jesus.